Hi everyone, I'm Nick from Printerbase. Today I'm looking at one of HP's most popular mono laser printers, the LaserJet P3015. There are three models, but I have the P3015X, which is the best of the bunch, as it comes with network connectivity plus an additional 500 sheet paper tray. If you don't want this extra tray, then opt for the P3015DN. And if you don't need the tray or network connectivity, then there's also the P3015D. So those are the differences, so let's now look at what all three models have in common. Automatic double-sided print is standard across the range. Print speeds are rated at up to 42 pages per minute. High resolution true 1200 by 1200 DPI gives excellent print quality. USB comes as standard, plus there's network connectivity on the DN and X configurations. There's a 100 sheet multipurpose feeder. There's a 500 sheet tray as standard, but you can add up to two additional 500 sheet trays if the need for extra capacity arises. The output tray will handle up to 250 sheets. There's a numeric keypad for secure print. Okay, so those are just some of the most important aspects of the HP LaserJet P3015. And I now want to bring you in for a closer look. Okay, we're now coming in for a closer look at the HP LaserJet P3015. The first thing I'm going to do is a print sample. I've put the USB pen drive into the front of the device. It did take about 30 seconds to read the pen drive, just be aware of that. But once it's read it, it is pretty easy to print from. So PDF that we've got on the pen drive. I'm going to print five copies just to show you how quick it can print. And there you go, very quick indeed. Okay, that's all I'm going to do print-wise. So I'm just going to turn the machine off now. I'm going to unplug it at the back. Now I said earlier that this is the P3015X. So it does come with an additional 500 sheet tray. I'm going to show you how to connect the tray. There's no cables, you just literally lift the machine up and push it down onto the tray. Plug the machine back in, turn it on, and it's ready to print. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is show you around the machine. So we have got here at the front the 100 sheet multipurpose feeder. You've got the 500 sheet tray there. You have the additional 500 sheet tray here. And you can actually add a further 500 sheet tray underneath. To get to the toners, it's very easy, you just press the button on top and it pulls forward. It's a combined drum and toner, so it slots out and you put the new one in. For very, very straightforward, you have a choice of either a 6,000 page or a 12,500 page toner. Obviously the bigger toner does give you the better cost per page. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the numeric keypad here on top but if you do send a print job to the device that you don't want people to see you can assign a pin code to the print job when you walk over to the machine you just punch in your pin code and it releases the job okay so I'm now just going to spin the machine around for you but there isn't really much else to see but as you can see there is uh, a panel here which you can get access to if you buy the machine without the network you can add it here there are also the cards you can buy that you put in here and you can add extra memory underneath this panel at the back you have your power connection you've got the network connection because this is the X which has network and you also have the USB connection here you've got a panel here if you do need access to the paper path because you have a paper jam but it's unlikely but if you do get one you can access it here and just to show you this side you just have a fan just make sure it's not pushed right up against the wall because you need to give the machine a little bit of space to breathe and that's everything discussed if you've got any further questions give us a call our number 0800 170 7234 and there's lots of information on the website www.printerbase.co.uk I'm Nick and thanks for watching